What's up, YouTube? Era 212 here with another video. So I hit a toy show and the flea market in one day. What did I find? All right. So uh, as I said, hit a toy show and a flea market. Actually, hit the flea market first. My man Streetside Anthony was set up there. Wanted to stop by, say hello, ran into Bronzeville Comics and a bunch of other guys from the community. Just a good day walking around, getting some steps in, getting some exercise and, and looking to see if I could score some books. So uh, some dollar books that I found laying around there that, that you know what, I I'll grab them. Um, it's uh, the Gwenpool Holiday Special number one. Um, I took this one. This is a nice little variant to this, this book right here. Um, what I liked and enjoyed a lot, Redneck. Number one, I could see this someday being made into a series. Uh, this was really good. Again, for a dollar, can't pass up on it. Uh, X-Men number six. You've got Jim Lee goodness there. That's probably one of the best Jim Lee covers out there. And it's a new stand edition. And uh, can't leave the late, great Michael Turner. Uh, Hulk number three. Hulk number one is blown up because of everything that's going on with Thunderbolt Ross. Um, but this is a great, great Michael Turner variant. And uh, couldn't leave it there. The other one that I was like, wow, this is still sitting around. A, a nice little book to pick up was uh, Silver Surfer, number one. Scotty Young, uh, nice homage to Jack Kirby with the Kirby crackle all throughout there. So uh, just a good find, I, I think. Uh, 10 to $15 book, if you look it up uh, for a buck, I'll take it every day of the week. So like I said, walking around, and to be honest, there weren't too many comic book vendors there. But my man Streetside was there, so it's always fun talking with Streetside Anthony. Give him a follow on IG. Just a great guy in this community. Um, and he always gives me great deals. So, you know, again, kudos to him. So uh was going through his bins, and he has a nice little spec book that I like to pick up. Uh, he actually had two copies, and uh, he was generous enough to give me, you know, a great, great deal on these things. Uh, I appreciate him because he actually gifted them to me. You know, that, that's the kind of guy Streetside Anthony is. But uh, Swordmaster number one, uh, first ongoing series. This is the man who becomes the new Iron Fist. So it's a nice little spec book. Uh, new Agents of Atlas number two is his first appearance. But this here is his first solo series. Uh, I like this book a lot. There's a one in 25 you guys should be looking out for on this book also. And like I said, picked up two books because I picked up another copy. So, shout outs to my man, Streetside Anthony. Just one of the best guys in this community. A pillar of the community. Uh, you know, very Gary and the principal defects swear by him. So, gotta be somebody really cool. And so, like I said, so now I walk around. I usually do multiple laps in this flea market. Number one, get the steps. Number two, get to the later vendors. Just a little strategy I use. See who's there first. And then give it a walk around. Because sometimes some vendors get there a little later. And you might run into something that you didn't see there before. So what happens, I go there, I do my laps, and I don't know, an hour later, I run into a vendor I hadn't seen before. And he had pop culture booth, um, had pops and comics and uh, other knickknacks there and toys and stuff like that. Um, and I was looking through his bins, it didn't have anything really that was interesting to me, but then I saw on the table behind some of the boxes, he had some better keys. And one book caught my eye. So uh, I asked him what the book was going for. He had the going rate on this book. This book is in a 6.0. It is a pricey book. Um, he had it as a fine. And he had priced it accordingly. Uh, but for me, it was a little bit out of my budget as far as what I was willing to spend on this book. And you know what? Let me show you the book because it, it's really nice. But uh, it's that iconic Jim Steranko, Incredible Hulk, uh, annual number one. As we all know, uh, Steranko, this is not the face that Steranko drew on there because the face that Steranko drew was so horrid. Uh, it didn't match this figure, and they had somebody redo the face on this book. So just a little Steranko, I mean, um, Steranko goodness right there for you. And uh, I looked at the book. The condition was really good. I liked the condition. I thought it was a fair price for the condition, but just like I said, out of my price point. But we started talking comic books, and myself and Bronzeville, a couple other guys were there. And then uh, as I was about to leave, the guy says, hey, you know what? Make me an offer. 
So I looked at the book and for me to even get this graded and everything else, I offered him a little bit below half of what he had going for it. And guess what? He went for it. He took the deal. So you never know, putting out a number there, negotiating, it's all part of this game we play. Take the shot. What's the worst that he could do? Say no. And you know what? He took the deal. I was happy. He was happy. And uh, it was a win-win for both of us. Now, um, after that, uh, I did a quick Google search on my phone. And I saw that there was going to be a toy show nearby. So I said, you know what? Let me take the ride. It was a $5 admission. That's fine. It's a nice little donation for the location. And uh, a lot of crazy good toys. Some early vintage Power Rangers. Really nice uh, uh, unpunched cards for Star Wars. That were uh, so, some of the more older ones. You know, so the Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi cards and stuff like that. And a lot of loose figures. There were a lot of interesting things. I'm not a toy guy. I don't collect toys anymore. But I always like looking at them and, and just learning what's going on in the market. And there were some really nice toys. And usually there's a few comic guys that or guys that have toys that have a few comics sprinkled in. And sure, there was a guy selling prints and he had two boxes. And uh, he had two books that I was really interested in. And he gave me a very fair deal on them. So the first one is, this is the... Wolverine's number one, the Del Otto 1 in 25 variant. I mean, you can see this thing is gorgeous. So I bundled this and I got the book I really like. Uh, tougher book to find. Uh, this is Wolverine's number two, is it? Yeah, the number two. And this is the Alex Malieve variant. Uh, gorgeous, gorgeous mystique cover. Another 1 in 25. If you ever see this book out in the wild, pick it up. Um... It's dipped a little bit, but this Alex Malieve is crazy. Uh, nice book. And number three is a gorgeous uh, NYX cover uh, done by, I forgot who the artist is, but another really nice, nice cover. So a couple nice books to pick up there, especially when I bundled them together and got them well below what uh, the asking price was. And then um, ran into another guy. He had some comics laid on his table, and he had something there that I couldn't resist. Uh, did a little research, and... This is an autograph that you don't see all that often. I've never seen um, this person at a local con uh, because he's from overseas. But I know there was a recent book signing and I saw he was signing some books. But as far as a comic book and seeing his signature on comics, uh, I haven't seen it too often. Uh, this actually was run from a print run of 5,000. But this is Sandman number 50. And... Uh, Yes, that's Neil Gaiman's signature on top of it. So this is a book that might go to CBCS for signature verification. Uh, pretty cool. This this was done, I think, in the 90s. Uh, 93, these were signed. So that's pretty cool. Maintain the signature. Books in nice condition. They put their own little backing board on there. Gaiman when he was young uh, with the COA and the print number on it. So, very cool. I think this was a nice find, especially for the price, because I got it below what the sticker price was also. And then one more book. And the book I was super, super happy to find. Uh, people sleep on this book all the time. It is a DC key. So guys like Biggie's Comics and all of those guys, Bronzeville, they, they know what this book is. They're big DC key guys. Um, but I was able to find a copy of Flash number 120. And that's the first appearance of Wally West, Kid Flash, before he gets his new costume. But just a nice, nice, nice find, man. I was happy with this. I'll take this any day of the week. Um, got this for a very nice price. It's a mid-grader, but first appearance of Wally West. I had this book, and I let it go. I had it graded, and I let it go, and I regret it. This one's staying in the PC. Um, book to hold on to for a future spec. I think with everything that's gone on with Ezra Miller, Wally West might be another way that they can bring the Flash into it. Remember, Wally West has such a long run as the Flash. Uh, most most younger guys, anybody you know younger than me, that's their Flash, not Barry Allen, but Wally West is their Flash. So, you know what? Nice little spec pick.
But um, those, are the, those are the books I picked up. Let me know what you guys think in the comment. And oh, by the way, November 19th, I believe it is, um, Icon is coming. You guys need to go check this show out if you're in the area or if you're in driving distance, go check it out. Lineup's pretty good, man. They've got people like Very Gary there, uh, Absolute Comics there. Guys, Panther Comics are going to be there. On top of all the local vendors that you don't see from our region. So uh, this show is, is looking to become one of the bigger shows in that area. And this is the initial one. Let's see how this turns out. If you saw anything, that, you saw what happened with King Kong and how much it's grown or Bronx Kong, uh, both of those shows have progressed and become better and better as they go along. So Icon, a show for you guys to check out. And you know what? When I say checking out, check out these videos because there's some really good content in here I think you guys will enjoy also.